Hi, welcome back and thanks for joining us. Today we thought we'd talk about positions of cockpits, the centre and off cockpits, the pros and cons. Let's grab a drink and get to it. So the pros and cons of a centre cockpit versus an aft cockpit. I've done some sketches for you to help better explain this. Obviously these are just our thoughts and what our findings after researching this. For reference, the boat we have used is a, um, for the images is a Beneteau 44. It makes some ease of comparison because this particular boat of the same age exists in both the centre cockpit and the off cockpit so visually it's much easier to do a direct comparison. So the mast position is in the same area. The centre cockpit clearly is much more enclosed, it's much more protected. Uh, Bimini will be obviously smaller and therefore much cheaper to invest in. The central helm position and your seating space on three sides. You have your entrance down into the saloon in the same way as you do on the aft cockpit. And then behind the centre cockpit, you have your stateroom, which is the main cabin. Huge advantage obviously being is you gain a lot more in head height and space. You also gain a bigger engine space in a centre cockpit, which makes it much easier for maintenance and any repairs you need to carry out. Um, better all-round visibility too from the helm position but on the negative on the downside of that being higher up you're more exposed to the elements so a spray coming over the bow uh, you've also got increased windage and motion so solar panels would be harder to fit uh, on the center cockpit uh, after researching it, um, clearly on an aft cockpit you've got naturally extra space you could fit. Uh, another con of the centre cockpit is it's much smaller, so if you have a large group of people staying on board, you know, the Beneteau 44 for example could sleep six to eight people, that small cockpit could suddenly become very crowded and if you wanted to eat outside where you have the fold down table which is situated just in front of the helm, uh, this could suddenly become an issue. However, the clear advantage is it's much safer in bad weather. If you imagine you've got the bimini on the centre cockpit, um, us particular, in particular with our toddler, um, we feel this is a huge advantage. And going over to the aft cockpit layout, instantly you see the entrance into the saloon is in the same location but automatically you have a much much bigger area with twin helms, one on the port and one on the starboard, so manoeuvrability particularly with them coming into a mooring is going to be easier. Two really big bench seats. You've got your primary winches and your secondary winches. And on the centre cockpit, your secondary winches would be located here. And your primary winches are much further forward because of the helm position. So on the aft cockpit, automatically the table is much, much bigger. So much easier to accommodate for large groups or outdoor living. We've also found that it's easier to rig uh, a wind vane which helps for steering and, and weather and a con is less protected obviously in bad weather because you're right on the stern of the boat and aside from that you have less headroom in the stern cabins. So this plan of the centre cockpit clearly illustrates what we've been talking about. You have as we mentioned bigger engine space so the engine as you can see is situated directly in the centre of the boat and you can clearly see all the space around it in the middle of the image which also allows a plenty of room for uh, installing, installing which also allows for installing a generator and a water maker if you wish. The aft stateroom as we mentioned you can see takes the entire width of the boat which is just immense um, at the detriment however to your actual living space. And on this image, we have the aft cockpit. And one main difference you can see straight away is you have the two uh, cabins at the stern. So automatically they're half the size of the stateroom. However, you have the engine 
slotted in between them you can see the stairs leading up to the cockpit and down into the saloon so the engine clearly is situated much further back and also makes it much harder to get at if you have any maintenance repairs to do. You have plenty of living space but there is very little extra space if you wanted to install a generator, a water maker or what. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the like button below. And if you have any experiences after Central Cockpits, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.